good evening, this is the Nerdist Human, and welcome back to Medieval 2 Total War. And you join me for a brand new mini series we play the Rebels on the Prologue campaign. And that here means the Norman Conquest, which normally, of course, is William the Conqueror taking over England. But no, we're going to turn this around. We're going to turn this into a Rebels campaign, of course. And this one is um, intriguing because. Okay, on Rome Total War, they created their own mini map for this, and uh, that is not the case here. This is basically the beta map for Medieval 2 Total War. See a previous video that I've released. But um, okay, this is going to be more, more complicated to try and set up as the Rebels. So let's head on in and let's see what's so confusing about it. Here we are then on the Norman Conquest campaign, and of course we are centred around Normandy because usually that's who you play as. William the Conqueror has just smashed King Harold in the face and is ready to take over Saxon England. However, that might not happen on this particular version of events. We do also have the Scots up north to bear in mind. As for our rebel settlements, well, okay, we have ourselves Dublin, Carnarvon, York and Inverness. Inverness is really the only one with any infrastructure. The rest of them are tiny and largely worthless. This does cause us a few problems to try and win this campaign, but actually... The Rebels campaign is surprisingly easy. Probably not that surprising if you've looked at the minimap because pretty much the entire map is full of Rebel settlements. Because, yeah, normally this campaign is supposed to be restricted to this corner of the world. Unlike Rome Total War, they didn't build a whole new map for the prologue. They basically built the map and essentially this is a beta for the final version of the game. So it's pretty much the same, but there are a few details which I obviously looked at in a previous video. But as the Rebels, we do have ourselves a few bonuses, not least the fact that we do have an army over here near Khan, which we can go and send in to take down this castle. However, what I should probably point out is that um, having all those cities is a big, big boon. Money is not going to be a problem. And OK, this is just going to make it too easy, I think. So. I want to try and find a way of balancing this problem out. So essentially, yeah, you've got the King's Purse here. At the moment, we're gaining 500 denarii or florins each turn. Now, I can try and balance out all the money we're making from these other settlements by essentially giving myself minus King's Purse from the files. So that's basically what I decided to do. I thought I'd just add up the money that I am making from these various towns and probably this ring around Khan as well and basically try and neutralize the money situation a little bit. Now, I'm going to need money, of course, because these are not developed at all. And when you have mostly rebel regions, you're not going to get very many rebel spawns. Rebel spawns are only going to be coming out of the regions that are already conquered. So, yeah, this is going to be a tricky balance in terms of me finding the right number. But I think we've got it around about 27,000 negative is just about right. So um, that will still give us an opportunity to build some of the settlements, but uh, not be completely swimming in money. Now, there is actually the Pope down in the south as well. Eventually, we will need to go deal with this problem because he's just going to wonder. He's not restricted on this at all. He's just going to come and take over all of Italy if I'm not careful. So a little bit of extra money just to uh, maybe fortify some of these towns won't be the worst idea in the world. There is, however, one more major problem with this that I do need to fix in the file first. As you move on to the next turn, then you might well notice what the problem is, because, OK, obviously King Harold is still alive. That's a little bit strange, but I find that mildly amusing. So I'm not too worried about fixing that, although there will be a future fixing guide for you if you want to play this particular campaign for yourself. But for the time being, the major problem, as you probably notice, is that the Normans only have themselves one settlement. So if we go and give ourselves some console commands to go and take Khan immediately, of course, we are going to completely destroy the Normans and William the Conqueror and his army become mine, which would probably mean I instantly walk over the entire map and win the game. And that would be a little bit boring. So I have to go into the files and come up with a fairly sensible little solution for that. With my changes then, we've now got minus 28,000 a turn, which should pretty much deal with all of the other settlements. Uh, that's a profit of 1,500. I think that's perfectly reasonable for the handful of towns that I actually have, and they are making me a little bit of money. Elsewhere, I've decided to give William the Conqueror London because 
At this point he basically had taken that anyway, so the Saxons are then just going to get York handed over to them. So they've still got two settlements, but uh, so do the Normans, meaning that when I do take Can, um, hopefully it uh, won't all go wrong. So probably at this point, time to turn that back off by the way, because we won't be playing with the Fog of War like that the whole time. Okay, we will... That'll be absolutely grand. Now, okay, two units of Sergeant Spear, and we can win that. It's just going to be a little bit awkward. Now, where do we want to spend our money? Well, okay, we will come back to those towns. Carnarvon over here is basically where we're going to get our army from. So we've got some peasants and some mailed knights, and we're going to get the castle upgrade done. Uh, Dublin over here, we can get ourselves an upgrade on Inverness. Um, well, Inverness... To be honest, the Scots are going to walk straight in here, so castle would be lovely. What's probably more useful is to get a couple units and see if we can hold it off, or at the very least, give them a good battering. I'm not convinced that one's particularly possible. So, uh, fairly straightforward opening turn, all things considered. By the way, the victory conditions I've changed around. I need Rome, Nottingham, London, and Cannes, which basically is yeah the three settlements that you'd normally need to win this campaign, and I thought... I'll throw in Rome because eventually we do need to go and deal with these fiends, for want of a better word. Okay, we'll end our turn and see what happens, which is probably the attack from the Scots. Turn two then, and Inverness is going to have problems. It's the king himself who's coming, so yeah, I somehow suspect we are not going to win that, but we'll see if we can do some brutal damage along the way. But the Normans are bottom of military that seems wrong to me oh no so i'm bottom and they're top <laughs> that's a good thing i know how to read these screens isn't it okay excellent stuff so canarvin 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 you are well we're nearly out of money already aren't we we are getting the castle built let's go and smash up can and we'll sack it and get ourselves a bucket of money because this is actually a fairly decent settlement um as for prologues they do tend to have quite developed places so certainly these three are pretty darn strong we're going to be wanting them the game really doesn't fancy our chances does it okay sergeant spearman and we have weaker lads but i suspect with the general we should have a way of ma making this work so let's swing on into battle let's take him down it may have only just occurred to me that this is actually a fortress so that could be problematic it was definitely more snowy by the way when i started this battle a moment ago i did specifically pick snowy weather but okay fine yeah we need to get all the way up there thank god it's only two units eh this could have been horrible otherwise it probably is still going to be utterly brutal so sergeant spearman just hanging back and a second unit just here we are going to hopefully get the round there but if nothing else we are going to have to shove everyone up the ladder which could be painful but it is what it is they're running over there to deal with them that's fine by me i'm going to get all my support units in that part of the world Jim can just uh, shuffle himself in this direction. Actually, that should... Come on, tower, go off. Go off. Okay, we're a little bit late now to worry about it, but we might, if we're lucky, still get that ram up to the gates. That's good to see. Okay, so archers are over here, which... Archers are here, by the way, because I wanted... Hmm, archers can maybe get themselves over there. I want the archers here so that I could start shooting across at them. Maybe we should just get our archers over here at this point. Yeah, just get yourselves out of there. <laughs> oh dear, Sergeant Spearman are going to cause me some problems, aren't they? So, Spear Militia, they're my slightly better infantry. You get yourselves down. Oh no, no. Okay, now both towers are activated. Do we even want these guys here? No, we don't. We just want them well out of the way. Okay, let's just get the general ready to run on in at this point because the gate is going to go down. This is going to be a messy battle. These guys just need to hold for as long as possible. They're on. Yeah, they're, they're off. They're off. <laughs> they're going. They're running away. They've done almost no damage, by the way. But if we're lucky... Okay, peasant archers, get yourselves... Have the other guys decided to run off? They have. That's interesting. Okay, that's good news, actually. You guys bring yourselves to there. That would be perfect. And archers... We should be able to get ourselves in a really nice shooting position if we are lucky. So let's hope that that works. As our archers shoot them from above then, our spearmen are just in position here to hopefully pin them soon enough. These guys are going to climb down the tower because they were getting shot and they might as well finish the surround. They are... are they going to get into a siltrum right now? They kind of were for a moment. Oh yeah, they are siltrum 
but we'll just charge them anyway and that will be absolutely fine. So they can do what they want, but we'll just shoot them down. Oh yeah, they're falling apart pretty quickly now. So that's good. That's the first unit taken out. They've killed one of ours, but to be honest, I'd quite happily take one unit gone for that. It's not the worst thing. A bit of a weird scruffy start, but hopefully we can now make it up to the plaza. For some reason the general doesn't actually want to kill any of these guys. Come on, seven of them. Yeah, they refuse. They completely... Are you trying to lance them? That's really weird. Guys, before the... T <laughs> get over here. Let's see if they can... Uh, when you, when you want them to get their lances out, they won't, will they? For Pete's sake. And now, they can't do anything but keep them out. So, uh, I want to go alternative attack and see if that does anything. No. No. We're just going to let them live. That's a bit irritating. And inevitably, we're just going to shoot them down now. Some sergeants women are coming to come and deal with us, actually. Thomas, 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 Thomas. That's why you've got other men outside the city, haven't you? That's why you want to intercept them. And by intercept, I mean we're going to be a little bit too late because now that tower has been activated. So that's a little bit irritating. But, you know, we'll try and catch them the other side and that'll be absolutely fine. So these guys are now shooting them. If nothing else, actually, we can just go and send the general onto the plazas. So that should be amusing. These guys can maybe just go onto guard. Unfortunately, we're going to lose more than we probably should at this point because of the... Uh, yeah, I, I forgot to intercept them. Uh, they're at 35 quite quickly, actually. Archers, maybe just run. Maybe we kind of need you later, probably. Archers. Archers. Okay. <laughs> We've now got them surrounded. That's fine. Um, we're losing way more than we should, to be honest. Just go on guard as well. In fact, maybe maybe everyone should just get off the wall. <laughs> oh, dear. It's actually come down to me charging them on the plaza, as ridiculous as that sounds, but it's actually having to happen at this stage. Blow the horn of destiny, sir, and chunk him down. <laughs> the timer was nearly up as well. Oh, that's absolutely ridiculous. These guys, they already lost to the other unit. need to just pin them in place. And we'll try and get the odd sort of... Oh, now you won't get your lances out. Can my guys do any killing? Oh, yeah, they can now. They couldn't before, but now they're able to. Ridiculous. Right, let's get the general out of there before he mag magically dies. It remains in our favour. I'm not sure about that. Well, it, it definitely is. There's only nine of them. But somehow this turned from um, looking very, very comfortable indeed to, yeah, somehow having eight men. Twelve men, is it? Yeah, just the twelve men here standing on the plaza. These guys just keep shooting. That'd be great. You were supposed to be over here. Some of them are there. God, they're all so useless. My archers are mostly in position. Just at the moment, these guys decide to flee. So time for the general to charge in. He's got his lances down. Here comes the victory. Lovely. And there is victory and glory. And, uh, ooh. Ooh, some bloody, bloody men in our general unit. But we seem to have got victory. They'll be awed by it. They'll be, uh, I guess, impressed that we just took out the fortress with these utterly abysmal infantrymen. Anyway, it looks so bad like that, does it? But anyway, we got the city, and that's really all that matters. Victory and, well, not quite glory, to be honest. That was uh, not the most impressive thing in the world. But the sacking is nice. Uh, 3,000, not brilliant, but there is plus zero for mining. I did notice some strange things in the fuzz, were there are gunsmiths in a load of their towns? Oh, not this one, interestingly. But yeah, there were definitely some gunsmiths around. Right, so plus zero for mining. That's bizarre, but um, I guess there is nothing for them to mine, but they for some reason put mines there. Some very strange things going on. Okay. Um, town militia. I can retrain. Oh no, I can retrain them because of their. Hmm. We just need to merge them because yeah, this is a not a town. This is a a fortress, so we can't do anything with that with longbows though. Ho 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 ho! Right. So longbows in. How long until that? Two more turns until those guys. I might. Hmm. How much of the mailed knights to upkeep? Two fifty. I'll wait a turn or two. Um, but it'd be very good to get some more of those guys around. Did I get any odd spawns, by the way? Doesn't look like anything spawning. Oh, there's a boat. The boats are going to cost me a fortune, aren't they? They totally are. Okay, uh, you swing around there. Actually, no, we'll send both over there. That's absolutely fine by me. I could, I could decide to, yeah, blockade them. I think I will blockade the poke. That's fine. Otherwise... What money do I want to spend? Well, Carnarvon just get itself a scout. Uh, nothing else I can really do for the time being. Uh, um, 
I'm just going to hide tax rate because I don't know how much growth time we're actually going to get in the town. Do I want to spend any money of any of these? Theoretically, I do because whilst I don't plan on actually using the rest of this uh, empire, by the way, uh, I kind of see these settlements as relevant because they are part of the game. I mean, Scotland can just come along and colonize all of this if they want because the map is no longer restricted. So something I do need to bear in mind, but for now we should be absolutely fine. Do I want to send these guys out as scouts? Probably not, you know, plus one dread, plus one command. They route, so did we, quite frankly. And yeah, up in the north here, we have King Malcolm now. I don't think it's sensible to sally out. We'll just let them come in at us, to be honest. We'll just see how it goes, because I suspect we've lost that. Uh, I don't know how we intend on actually keeping it. But the key thing here, yeah, taking Khan early on is pretty darn nice. Catamon Maker is good, but I don't think these things work with the Rebels. I don't seem to recall being able to get any of that stuff as the Rebels last time. So the mine network can't be destroyed can't be destroyed because it's my network, even though there's actually nothing being achieved out of it. I'm going to destroy the Ballista Maker because that's money. I don't think I'm able to use it. Practice range we definitely do want at this point. I guess we'll retrain those two because at least we're giving them some extra shield, I assume. Okay, well, we'll end our turn and we'll see what happens in Inverness. Indeed, King Malcolm is coming on in and for some reason the game thinks this is one-to-one. -one. No idea how it works it out. Malcolm himself can pretty much defeat me, I would reckon. Um, but it is a city, of course. And one ram, one ladder. Hmm. Okay, we know how terrible these infantry are because we just use them. So, okay. I mean, we can't... The only way we can win this is the walls. The only way we can win it is the walls. This is a wooden castle, by the way, so it's not a proper tough one. A proper castle, I, I'd be confident... Well, almost confident we can win. The faction leader is... A big problem so they can't get in we need this ram to go down so okay let's swing in let's give it a go it's never very encouraging where the narrator man immediately says that the foe has the upper hand uh, we haven't even started yet sir now the day is a very similar one it's bright uh, but snowy so that's not really going to help us these guys are exactly where i want them to be on the wall uh, as formation that will do that'll do so I'm going to get these guys lined up because I would like them to immediately get running out. We are going to cause problems. All we can do is get the ram to burn down and that means we need to be annoying. So these guys, these guys, these guys, these guys, get yourself into position. And I'm just going to say charge these militia. Charge the militia right now. Let's just do what we can. That is not much of a charge, is it? <laughs> that's a little bit of a charge a little bit a little bit a little bit okay so there are some missiles coming in here or there that's at least distracted them they put that down we need to do the same thing now for this ram if we can keep this ram in position yeah turn around doesn't really need to be a good charge it just needs to be anything that keeps them in position just distract the ram okay good before the gem before the general gets in there get out get out get out get out get out okay we've blocked them off a little bit that's good. Uh, missiles. Come on, keep shooting the ram. Because they're not holding the ram, it's not shooting it anymore. That's interesting. Very interesting. Okay, they're now running across there. Let's just avoid the general at all costs. They seem very distracted. We're just going to... Oh, yeah, ram into them. <laughs> keep them busy as long as possible. Okay, keep running, keep running, keep running, keep running. We are losing a few too many. They have archers shooting us, don't they? Yeah, they do. Okay, we are going to... Ooh, charge those archers charge the archers we've got a moment to run them down so let's run them down okay so we are failing miserably at running down the archers which isn't particularly ideal but they are now getting that ram back get we need to intercept oh no that ram needs to go come on burn the darn darn ram okay we are getting around them getting around them this is ridiculous, but sometimes just dealing with a ram is the best thing you can do. It's, it's not quite there at the wall yet. It's not quite there at the wall. They're pulling it back. Yeah, pull back. Okay, General is thinking about moving into me. That's fine. Keep doing the dance. 
Keep doing the dance. We're going to try and get around to... Yeah, they're chasing after me for a moment. Their missiles, we're steady now. So yeah, we're, we're getting whittled down. And it's the general too. So I can't do much more of this. You need to burn down that round, but I have no control. No control over what... This is one thing that always bugs me, actually. The fact that we have no choice in the matter of what unit we are dealing with. They're now not even taking the ram. They're just taking the ladder. Now, okay. Again, the, 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 the towers are at least shooting them this whole time, which is excellent news. So we're doing some good work here for all of this. Uh, General's too close to deal with the archers right now. Um, yeah, they're all lining up for that nonsense. They have now reached the walls, but I'm going to send these guys to run into them. The, ra the ram's in our way. The ram is totally in our way. The general's now dealing with us. Oh, god darn. We're just going to keep on whittling them down. Let's we'll see if we can whittle them down. It'd be lovely, though, if the tower would just burn the ram. If the ram burns, we have a chance. I have no idea why they're not using the ram anymore, but it kind of works. Uh, we're just going to keep on interrupting them for as long as possible. That one did not go well for me, by the way. Definitely taking some more hits now. But for some reason, that ram is now being ignored. And right, they will eventually win, I guess, facing these guys. But hmm, surely I'm doing some good damage here. What will be at 28 to 39. That's not bad. Not bad. But how are these guys doing? They're shaken. Shaken. Steady. Eager. Eager steady okay there's only eight of me and this is the general so i can't really afford for him to die but oh man i probably need to get him back in the castle probably just need to get him back in now i say you should get him back in the castle but i really can't resist charging in they're wavering they're wavering get in there get no i know the general's coming the general oh you utter fools yes we've got routes we've got routes we've got routes keep running <laughs> More routes. Yeah, the Highlanders are doing it. Only half of them remain. That's amazing. Right, get to the other gate. Get to the other gate, sir. We need you in. Activate more towers and we can hide back there. There's still the possibility of the ram, but they are losing infantry quickly now. The archers are now doing it. Can we get around there? I don't know that we can. He's eager. I think we might have to run around this little farmlet. Amazingly, we are actually mostly destroying all their infantry at this point. And... Yeah, Spear Militia are regrouping over there. Uh, Town Militia over there. Let's just mop them up. Let's just mop them up. They're, they're <laughs> they need to go. They need to be dealt with. The General keeps chasing us, but he can't catch us, damn it. We're not going to be very good at mopping these guys up, though, are we? I do think that is a slight problem that's going on here. But, you know what? We'll just keep on keeping on, and we're causing so much mayhem. It's actually ridiculous. At this stage, what is left? 16 Spear Militia who are, well, the other eight are routing right next to them. They're coming back and forth. The General is now officially, actually, <laughs> going to run around and enter at the far gate. He's just going to come activate this tower here. I think we got it. The, the General will get away alive, but if we, I did not expect to be able to take and hold this castle. But I think enough interfering. They've given up on the ram. I thought we might be able to burn it, but... um. Yeah, they don't target it when it's actually not being held. Very strange, but oh, it's good enough because they seem to have decided it's not worth the trouble, which is just brilliant. Yay, the general's safe. I, I'm kind of amazed he survived with five men. He's done a great job of actually uh, making it through. And as the last infantry go down, the battle will soon be officially over. It's just this, uh, and this dad up here. There we go. Yay. There's victory. We'll let the general run off. We'll shoot down whatever we can at this stage. But I am delighted with that. Amusingly, by the time the general actually made it over there, he immediately had to leave to go and <laughs> chase them down. Well, those are the Highlanders, by the way, who have hacked down a fair few Scotsmen over here. So nice work, my good sirs, with that. A glorious victory. And uh, yeah, these guys deserve, <laughs> deserve a good raise, I would say. Heroic victory. Now that redeems that slightly awkward first battle, doesn't it? Yes, our most glorious victory. 90 inflicted there, 50 by them, which means that that's only 140 there, which means the other 129 are, yeah, all being killed by the wolves. Well, the council know what's going on. They want me to reinforce Bologna because, yeah, there's certainly a massive area around here that the Pope could come and uh, smash up potentially. So, 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 so. 
I suspect, yeah, we're going to get so many boats and it's going to be a big issue. What I need to do is potentially find which of these towns is a slightly bigger population and maybe build a port just so I can disband them. Because <laughs> I can't disband them randomly, let's see. Uh, Dublin, 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 Dublin. Oh, you can't get anything yet. Town watch. Town watch, because the Scots are probably going to send an army over there and a couple units might just be able to hold off. So uh, one turn away from the castle, we'll get some peasants. Can uh, peasant archers. Do we want any peasant archers? We'll just wait for these. Uh, do we want to wait? Thing is, they could send that army over from London any time, and I am very aware of that. Actually, on that note, on that note, yeah, that's where they are. I can build watchtowers because I actually have a general. It's quite unusual as the rebels to have a, to actually have one of those early doors. Okay, where is their boat? The boat is over there. So Jeffrey's over there on his boat. They have sent the army out of the city. That is notable. So they could come for us. I feel happiest just getting units in here to be honest we'll spend a bit of the money we have to make sure that gets dealt with a port would be lovely to be fair um i was just saying we need ports to disband things i need to have a good look around the map i'll just go to the list actually in a minute but uh, i need to have a little look if there are any boats because it'd be quite useful to have one up in this part of the world but currently we don't oh yes this is where we actually need to spend money thomas um how much is that castle going to cost us because we really are, oh, 2,400. We really need that castle. Okay, don't worry about the castle just yet. Get another Highlander and an Archer. If they come in next turn, we have a couple more units. Every time that they fail, I have more opportunity to build. Fine. Okay, then, yeah, get those units. Don't worry about the uh, peasants used for holding. But you know what? We've got small units here. They can do a little bit of holding off. We'll leave 800 in the kitty. And other than that, I'll just have a little look at the list scrolls and things like that. But other than that, we'll probably end our turn. Oh yeah, there are so many pirates around and they're going to be costing me like 150 each. Oh no. Okay, there are a huge amount and I need to see if I can find any use for any of them. Yeah, I just I need to build some ports in these towns and just uh, disband. So I need to find whichever of these are not the smallest settlements in the world. But I think they're all starting at 400, aren't they? Yeah, every single one of these. <laughs> no, one day, one day I'll be able to... Oh, no, I can disband them. Oh, okay, that's good. Um, maybe the pirate ships work slightly differently. But yes, we no need for all the pirate ships. We'll burn them all down in the in the sea. That's how that's how ships work. Oh, you can burn ships in the sea. It's fine. We'll burn them down. Although we will keep a couple of them over here to go deal with Rome. Good news: the castle in Carnarvon is complete. Marvelous stuff. So that's some extra defenses over there. Um, for some reason, the king's come back, and I think it's the exact same force of, yeah, just sort of beating up lads. No siege equipment, so I probably need to sally forth, and that is a problem, isn't it? Okay, okay, okay. But we do have some ships in this part of the world now. Oh, England, England, England. I'm not going to sink you immediately, sir. But I certainly will be thinking about... How are your ships compared to mine? I can't tell right now. Hmm, if they want to get on a boat, I'd quite happily say hello. By the way, Scotland, you're now blockaded. So they've left uh, Edmund Ganmore over here in Edinburgh. And yes, yeah, so they did have a third. Okay, actually, yeah, they had like three armies, didn't they? And that's just the general. So they probably sent one to Dublin uh, and one in this direction. Yeah. Okay, I'd really like a boat over here just to block the crossing. Um, oh, I could have used you for that potentially. You know what? Yeah, let's do that. I like I, I, I like the information I got, but I don't need much more there. You get another heavy cav because they're always going to be useful. I have a feeling I'm going to have to spend every single turn. Ooh, I can get myself land clearance. I will get land clearance in Bruges because that one counts the settlement I can use. Also, is a settlement that's actually going to get sea invasions, I imagine? Certainly if I'm not quick enough. So, you know, I'll cancel that. But just the one in Bruges is probably good for me. By the way, Bologna's reinforcements. Good call. Good call by the, uh, yeah, by, by the council because, yeah, I won't be completing that one anytime soon. But, uh... Yeah, 
it looks like the Pope is going to go and walk into tons of these. I need to decide what I'm doing. Venice can defend itself because it's just an island and I will blockade them brutally. But aside from that, yeah, I've got to kind of pick a couple of places where I maybe build up around here. I can't afford it right now, annoyingly, but Wooden Castle can do surprisingly good work as we have seen. So, do I want to sally? I'll see what they do for a turn, to be honest. Uh, but I do need to deal with that problem pretty darn quickly. Well, Italy is going to be a bit of a problem. Uh, Florence has been bribed and, uh, yeah, Bologna has also been taken. So, look, we've got four units in there now. Uh, mission success. Oh, mission expired. Okay, so, um, to spend all this time sending these boats around and the Pope's just turned up fine. Um, we'll disband one ship and we'll leave one on the cross. Actually, no, let's not even worry about the crossing. You just disband. We will continue to disband them. We'll just leave one ship there to cause the Pope annoyance. And just give us a little bit of spying eyes on him. Fine, but I probably do need to at least spend some of my money on this. Oh, do I want to do that? I don't. They don't seem to be attacking each other, even though they are totally at war. Just seem to be leaving King Harold alone, which is kind of... Well, I guess it's fine enough. Now... No, 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 no. Longbows. We are starting to get a supply of those guys. That's good. Now, I can see where they are, which is nice. Now, this boat, Admiral Jeffrey, 2158. My pirate ships are how good, by the way? 1010. I thought we were much better. So, we have sunk them immediately. England have no way, or the Normans, basically England, they have no way of getting across to here. That is perfect. Actually, I wouldn't mind them coming and attacking in some ways, but you know what? It's absolutely fine. It would have been the easier way of dealing with them, but yeah, it's, it, it will have to do. So that guy can be disbanded, but we'll keep the other two boats. I'm going to have to disband boats every turn, at least until my economy picks up. I feel like I've got the economy just about right, actually. I'm quite pleased with that. Town Militia over there. And hopefully, one more turn isn't too much. He is not building any equipment, which is not great. That means we might... Or do we even have time in four turns to get the Carnarvon force over there? I don't know that we do. I don't know that we do. I think we should sally and see what we can do here. So what do we have? We have peasant archers. Wow, the male knights isn't enough to do a lot. These guys can chunk through the general a little bit. Arrows can help with a flank, but that's going to be a horrible, horrible thing. Okay, so some more units going through. Town watch complete and a bit of money. Yeah, this... I think we need to sally and just see what we can do because I can't even get... Okay, four turns. Next turn will be three turns. I can get on the boat and then on two turns... Well, what? No, I. It's awkward terrain as well. I don't actually know that I can get there. It's going to be an issue. So, I'm going to have to sally, I think, and just see what we can do about Inverness. In we go then. Sending the cavalry for a little charge while their archers somehow do some annoying damage to me. Actually, we, we do seem to have actually hit a couple of them, which is rather nice. So, in comes a charge. We will hopefully not lose too much of our general. But I would like to get a shot in if at all possible. We lost a couple horses, but it looks like we probably mostly... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, this is where we, we've we done we've done the teasing. Now we need to run back, guys. Now we need to run back. If the, if the cavalry need to just uh, get in his way, then that's fine. Actually, the archers are probably more, more worthless. Archers, turn around and shoot him. <laughs> turn around and shoot, please. Doesn't need any shot we can get. And the whole spear militia unit is gone. No, oh, that's lovely. Just the general now. I still don't fancy a chances in the open field against all of this. It's just the fact of the charge, really. If someone can blunt the charge, it'd be fine. I wouldn't mind the nip-mailed knights blunting the charge, so long as the general didn't get caught in it. So if we can just find a way of teasing him back towards the walls, that would be lovely. But, okay, we've got a pretty good job done so far. Let's not do anything stupid, Thomas. Well, we're going to do the stupid thing, which is to try and shoot him down. We can attempt to retreat if this starts to look dodgy, but he will not get pulled up against those gates. So apparently the gate open. Sorry, why have we left this open? Just an invitation for him. Excellent. Well done, guys. 
Okay, we're going to get some volleys in, and then we've got these guys to... Well, I just want to make sure a charge doesn't happen on the infantry. A charge on the infantry is disaster. These guys probably between them can just about chunk down the general, but... Yeah, not if... Uh, yeah, not if they've already been charged. Well, that was a hit on the general. That was a hit on the general, and he's saying to charge. So, we want to try and intercept said to charge... Intercept the charge, intercept the charge, intercept the charge. Intercept the charge, which means you need to run across him. Okay. So, you, 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 that's fine. So, this is our only chance now. Yeah, there we go. My general has taken the blunt, the brunt of the charge. But now we need the other units to get in and do the chunky work we need to get him out of there alive i'm hoping i've managed to do that but i don't know if that really is the case these archers have a nice shot in the flank okay yeah it's not the best shot it's not the worst shot either general needs to stay close enough to keep this going this definitely reminds me of some of the battles we had in the early days of medieval 2 uh, rebels campaign um yeah you just get yourselves in there Archers, archers, yeah, you know, you're doing something, hopefully not nothing, but, oh, it's a chunky affair at this point. How are we doing, by the way? They're at 20, only at 22. Only at 22, that is not enough. Not enough. Where is their general? We just need to kill him. Where is El Kingio? Because he needs to go down. The king is at the back, unfortunately, but the general is right there. So come on, four mailed knights. Four mailed knights charge into him right here. Right here, right here, right here, right here, right here. Get around a bit. Oh, there we are. That's good. We are in the right position to take him on. Come on, you guys. You can chunk him down. Archers are getting into that position now, but they're going to take a moment. Oh, yeah, we've got him. We've got him surrounded. Just the general here. They've lost their, they've lost their hit points. Get my general out of there just in case. Get him out of there just in case. You guys just need to go to guard now. Just guard position. The archers need to finish this. Archers, it's down to you. Send in the missiles. Send in the missiles. Oh, no, they're just, they're just running for the plaza. I don't know what they're doing, but they're, they're running away. Don't run away. Irritating when you run away. Archers are... Yeah. These guys need to just... Spell. Yeah, they're going to charge the archers, which is hardly surprising at this point. There we go. That's the general isolated. Archers are probably going to struggle a bit, but they only hit the edge of my unit. So that's absolutely fine. This is coming down to the wire. Come on, get on top of him. He's like going to be the last man standing. Utter, utter evil, evil king of a man. Okay, it's in our favor. There's three men left to kill. Of course it's in our favor. Archers. You're going to finish this job or what? I mean, the king's right there. Just shoot at him. Uh, come on, you got him in the back. 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 Send the general to go and mop him up. But I think at this point, yeah, uh, 11 infantry can do the job. Yeah. Down he goes. Finally, an arrow to the heart of all Scotsmen. Oh, they'll be awed by the 35 men holding on to Inverness. King Malcolm is gone, and by Jove, that was that was tough. And with that, another Scotsman goes down, and oh, why do we have a thousand left? We can't really afford to. Oh, we really need the money to get this castle built. Uh, a couple more units, uh, peasant archers. They actually did a good job. More Highlanders because we just lost a unit. Um, we uh, slightly better off than we just were. They can't have too much more to Freud us, can they? I hope not. Okay, we need we need the money to build a new thing. How is money looking? Not good. Having disbanded all the boats, which I almost forgot to do, we are now up to 2,000 next turn. Let's not panic. <laughs> we'll hopefully be fine. But yeah, I, I, I don't know. I mean, this is kind of stalling me a little bit here. I really wanted to send a, yeah, an attacking army at some point very soon, but... It's uh, okay, and maybe I took one or two too many grand off this. I took 27,000 at the start, I made it 28. The extra grand every turn would leave me so rich. We'd have a castle in Inverness.
The nobles now want me to reinforce my land, but at only 500 florins, I can't really afford to do that, to be honest, sir. So let's not worry about any of that nonsense. Now, okay, the Normans seem a little bit stuck about what to do. I mean, I did just destroy their any boats, so I guess I did disrupt their plan somewhat. Now, let's see. Oh, it looks like I managed to get here before <laughs> King Edward. Oh, yeah, they gave the Scottish peasants on this and then gave them the rabble instead. So, yeah, they have a couple units that they actually end up not having. Bruges has some land clearance, which is nice to see. Inverness, by the way, is not under attack. Isn't that nice? Yay! I'm going to send our Highlander friends out just to kind of keep an eye on what's going on. Edinburgh's very uh, vulnerable, isn't it? My king. That's intriguing. My lord. Move out. I need more information in this part of the world. Okay. Um, oh, I feel too close to all those units now, but I would like someone to scout. I can see a little bit more. There really isn't much there, is there? Okay, I'll tell you what, give me a couple turns in Inverness to build up a unit or two, and we are in a very good position to potentially cause them some trouble. Okay, we've got a unit in Dublin, that's free upkeep, and that's absolutely fine. And to be honest, can, 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 can. We need to start using these for, yeah, if they don't have boats, we're going to be boat kings, we're boat kings. They're stuck on their isle, which means can just gets to be, yeah... A very good way of building up nice forces. As long as the Pope doesn't sneak attack us. We need to be careful about the sneak attack. Uh, but aside from that, yeah, that's looking quite good. So we will spend our money mostly on longbows and send them around. Now we need to keep this boat here. And we don't actually need to blockade that. That's just there for info. So, you get, in fact, the Watchtower is doing that job anyway. So, yeah, we'll get ourselves a longbow. Can we afford two by... Scrapping something else. Potentially. How much do they cut? Uh, yeah. Get get another archer for now. Get some archers. That will be fine. But yeah, a couple longbows. That's going to be more effective for us going forward. That does not matter. Okay, this is looking very, very good indeed. I'm excited about this. Carnarvon looks safe enough for the time. I'm going to need some one of these peasants out. I'm just going to... Yeah... Stand in an ambush spot. But, oh, that's not an ambush spot. That's just out in the middle of the field now, which is a bit annoying. We can't see too much, but we do need to get the general around. So yeah, maybe the general gets to come around. See, we're going to bring Ambrose Adames around to Carnarvon. And we'll collect some troops together and swing by Edinburgh. And we'll work our way down England, I think. Turns out we found the Saxon force. And it's, yeah, right by that unit, which didn't know how to hide. That's a little bit irritating, isn't it? So you guys can run off. Hopefully we get away. Obviously the AI always moves 100,000 steps and we, we moved all of one. We do though have some mountain peasants. So <laughs> you know what, Let's let's uh, since we're stuck doing this battle, let's just see uh, how much of a mountain we get here. Because we might, you never know, might get some intel. Oh gosh, it's got thanes and huskers and everything. Anyway, uh, to finish off the day then, let's um, have hopefully have ourselves a nice big mountain. Here are our Saxon friends then, clambering their way up the hill. I do love their banner, by the way. It is rather beautiful. The colours are just the reverse of the Holy Roman Empires, in case you're wondering why it feels somewhat familiar. And yeah, we've actually moved a fair way down, actually, but uh, this just gives us a very clear focal point to yeah, run at. So, what do they have at the front? Some speary lads. Nothing too good, so that'll be great. I don't know how long we can last because they've actually got some of their decent lads pretty close to the front. But, you know, it'll be fine. We'll just see if we can do anything at all. So we'll speed this up as they come to me. But, yeah, I'll quite happily take on these peasant spearmen. Earl's Husker. Oh, General's right at the darn front. Of course he is. He is, though, a silver surfer for some unbeknown reason. That's interesting, sir. Well done. Um, okay. So, yeah, he's going to come on in. And, oh, some of them are running forward. Peasant archers are running forward. Interesting move, my sir. Interesting move. Could we somehow kill this guy? That'd be hilarious if so. Right, slow this down. And they are reloading. That's kind of annoying. That was actually half clever. Although, how well are they going to do from this distance? Um, Too well. Too well is the answer. Right, let's just charge on down. How tired are these guys, by the way? I don't really know. They're going to run. Into the peasant spearmen. Into the Earl's Huskarls. Yeah! 
<laughs> okay, unfortunately, they've got the Earl's Husk Girl here. So, while they might be a little bit tired, it is their general, guys. So, it is unfortunately... Unfortunately, we're not going to do very much at all. And the Earl is... Well, he's quite conspicuous, but we're not going to be able to get around to him. Which is a bit unfortunate. It's a good old hill. It's a decent position. But, yeah, one unit. Sadly, they are going to die. But, you know what? They just proud. They weren't very good at hiding in the forest, but they're darn good, he says, uh, standing on a mountain. We killed a few men. We killed 2%. We killed 12. That wasn't very good, was it? No. It's a new turn, and we have ourselves a heretic, amusingly. I don't think they cost me any money, so that's fine. Uh, over in Khan, we have ourselves longbows. Excellent. So, yeah, we're just going to grab this army. I'm pretty much just leave those spear militia behind, I guess, and we'll take the boats and send them around so okay this is looking more positive now if i forget to disband all the boats at the end turn i am absolutely screwed <laughs> the way that impacts the money is kind of hilarious Ooh, we got some new men pop up they're completely stuck which might well just be there to force my mm. oh that is so frustrating can't get these guys in to help them. Okay, what can we do? What are you? You're a general with some peasants. Fine. Now, uh, does this mean that I should go in right now? I can't get these guys out of there. I wonder if they could survive a turn. You know what? You know what? You know what? You know what? We'll end it here, but I think what we're going to do, we're going to send this boat around, see if we can pick them up. If we can pick them up, great. If they... So to attack them, it's fine, we'll go back. If they want to send this army over here, I reckon we've got another Inverness to go and deal with that. I don't mind losing Dublin to go and take Edinburgh. That's excellent news. Okay, we're going to send that boat around. Well, that is positive. We've got the other boat over here bringing troops over to Carnarvon. Carnarvon itself, just get another peasant in case that big, damn scary Saxon army does de just decide to come and cause us a problem. Yeah. For our first little spawn unit, Galaglach, which is beautiful. Um, we could chop through a general quite nice with that, and that's not a king. So, all right, fine. Get ourselves some men. Leave the 11 heroes behind. They can look after the town. But the rest of us, yeah, we can't poke him, but we're going to come stand here, and we'll see what they want to do. I reckon... Yeah, we could have an interesting fight on our... I'm going to regret that very soon, aren't I? It's fine, we've got the, we've got the other army coming through. This is the actual army. It's got some longbows, damn it. But yeah, we could do some proper infantry. So on that note, what can we get? There's a barracks here. That should get us something better. We can get the levy spearmen over here, by the way. That wouldn't be the worst idea in the world. Fine, we found ourselves a good start. The economy is interesting. I think I've just about balanced that correctly, if I remember to disband the boats. Uh, the Saxons and the Normans seem to be... Not fighting, they are at war, um, but it's currently a bit of a stalemate, so that's interesting. Carnarvon looks safe enough, Dublin might be in trouble, but if so, Edinburgh is there for the taking. Okay, I love a good spawn, that is always very exciting indeed. Oh, speaking of exciting spawn, oh yeah, oh yeah, Florence, 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 Florence. We... We'll be taking you back. Thank you very much. It's us now. Okay. Well, 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 well. If we have ourselves an army back here. A, I don't know if we have enough to take up Bologna, but even if we don't, might start to be next time an opportunity to, yeah, deal with some of this. This guy is going to come and bribe our settlements, which is slightly irritating, but we'll just walk into them if he does that. Absolutely fine. Fine. We've had a good start here, but I will leave it for now. I'm Thomas, this is Nerds to Human, and this has been, well, a fascinating beginning here on our Rebel Proto campaign. Thank you, and bye bye. Swing yourself around and do what all good aristocracy do, and murder peasants. This is amazing, the Rebel unit is actually taking part in the battle from the boat. These horses are potentially drowning themselves. Please don't drown your... one of them drowned themselves. Down to... <laughs> down to none.